They rejoiced because they understood the word. Do you have such experience every Sunday? Uh, If you understand that one, then actually you will transcend all the sorrow or problems you face. You will transcend the things that are coming to you, even though that look like, that would look like smother you, but you will, you can transcend because God is powerful enough to change everything by the word. And it's not because he's doing solely to you and this time. It is the way the word, this word is made by. This word is made with. You know, when you look at the world around you, I mean, look at the building, look at the machine, look at the nature, you feel like everything is very complicated. Everything is very complex. But strange enough, even though so many things running by the material, but only the Word of God reveals the true of truth, the truthful principle in all the earth. That is, all the things are operated, work by the Word of God, the Word. The Word. That is something we are looking, looking at at this worship, this service. When uh, the what is your feeling? What do you feel when you when we talk that let's receive grace from the word, or let's do the word movement, or let's do something like word? What is your feeling? I don't know you guys, but for me, the word is very dry bone, very 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 cloudy concept that doesn't have entity, that doesn't have a skeleton, that doesn't have a structure, that just flows around. That sometimes to me word. God told me through the word that is just flying words, cloudy words that comes to me. It makes me, it made me feel a little bit like, okay, I feel grace. Okay, I feel joy. Okay, I feel fail. But, I mean, my previous life, so there, are, there were so many stronger forces than the world could affect, affect me. Like money problem. Like friendship. Like some danger issue coming to me. Having job or the place to live, or my doomed future come. That looked more powerful and more strange, uh, more strong power, a uh, strong, I mean, the entity to me than the world. Isn't there something you feel, right? Actually, let's be honest, isn't it? That is something we really kind of could feel. The word, we, even though we read the word, we enjoy the word, we live in the word, but look at outside. When your boss actually to do something, then the word is like just scattered, scattered just dust. It's nothing. It is nothing. Isn't it really what we really feel? Right? That is the reason why the, we really have to look again the word, the principle. Believe it or not, you are living in the Word. I'm not talking about the Word of God. I'm talking about Word itself. We, we human beings, strange enough, we are designed, already created to work, to make according to the Word from the mouth or Word arising from our brain. That is strange enough. That is the truth of everyone. Who made a democracy? Who made the Me Too movement? Who made the powerful the machine? Who made the plane? That comes from the word, from the one's brain, one's mindset, 
or a collective mindset of people. The world is, even though that is not tangible, that is not kind of controllable, but this world is the most powerful thing that God actually gave to you, gave to us. But we are not living in the world, even though we spit out the words, but even though those words, sometimes we cannot control. We sometimes curse. We sometimes mistakes by the words that we do. We sometimes have troubles with the words that we have to make. We do not know what to say because we have no idea. So even in doing this, the world has something mystery in it, isn't it? Right? Mystery in it. So I will actually try to break down what are in the words. So my first point is this. What, is, what are the elements in the word? I'm not talking about not only just word of God. I'm talking about word itself. What are the elements in the world? What would that be? Most people, philosophers or psychiatrists or people who really under, try to understand the world from the linguistics, they try to say that word has three main elements there. And that is just common, common actually, kind of knowledge. Word has content. Word has content. Or is something you say specifically. So what, how, or the why, such a concept is, I mean, the content is in the word. But not only the word is in concept. The word, I mean, I'll just continue to word. Word has concept of our family. Word has the content of my family. My family is sick my family in danger, or my family is happy, or my family is not that happy. So such a the not only content, word in the word, even though it's a small sentence in the word, it has method. It tells what to do, how to do already. Even though we do not speak out, it already tells it. The word has uh, the, the method. That's strange enough. You know, when we learned from school the how to speak English, how to speak Korean, we uh, had uh, kind of the very uh, various uh, the grammar terms like imperative. You know the word imperative, right? You have to do something. You should not do something, right? But there is words. It does not actually tell you imperative. Like my wife is saying that, there is a trash field in the trash can. That's not imperative at all. But actually, to me, that is imperative. That means actually I should go and empty the trash. Otherwise, I get in trouble. So that is some kind of the something, direction, method actually coming out. The world has methods already. And that means what you are saying already has method. Probably the, the remnants who come, uh, who come from Atlanta, probably you would know that how powerful the word would be. So you try to carefully to choose and use the word, right? Word, word already says how to do that. Not only so, that is something we do not know. When we speak up, word already set the direction of our future too. Your word already set the future, where to go, where to arrive, and where to, where to do, where to be. It already set course. When she told, told me that there is no trash, uh, that there is a field, uh, they are filled with the trash in the trash can, the word already tells me where to be and where should go. There is so many things in the words, but when we try to kind of minimize and summarize all those things into these three things, elements, 
what has content, what has method, and what has direction or something to be there, to go there. I mean, end goal, if I can say. This word, all we enjoy, is not something people really invented in, in college or in scholarship or in the field. All these concepts came from the God, the Creator. That is only the children of God know that. When God created the world from this world, God was so pleased to ordain the world, this world operated by the word of God, the mouth of God. That is God really ordained and to work. He wanted work, he wanted move, he wanted operate all the earth by the word. So it has, everything has content, everything has method, everything has end goal. The word and the creature, just like what we read in the responsible reading, when we see the old things, is the, I mean, the, even you see the numbers, you see the numbers of counting, you see the numbers of all the mathematic problems, you see, the, you see the, all the numbers of your trouble, money, well, even though you doing things, there is the God's hidden purpose that is revealing God, revealing God's deity, revealing God's dwelling, indwelling in you, revealing God's heart to save your soul, to save this field. The content has been already embedded in all creation. There is the purpose. There is the commission that has been given to all the Christians, all the people of God, especially you evangelists. In everywhere, there is content, but the Satan, the, our, the, our fall, he began to tweak this word into the lie or Apparently look, look like truth. It is called fact, apparent fact. He made fact, but the fact hid it, rehid the word that reveals God, reveals, reveals who you are. And by the fact, Satan, the word, tried to smother you by the financial problem or the kind of the threat that comes to you, not, not seeing the future, bright future at all, or some kind of the temptation to look. When you see the, all the movies when you're, I mean, around you, in you, right, life, you see this, this thing too, tweaking, lying, or manipulating, manipulating. So many lies, words actually coming in. By the using by using facts, but you know the content, the true word, has not been altered at all. Still, truth in everything has not been altered at all. God is still powerful enough to revealing His love, His power. And he's showing the Christ, I mean, the salvation in all things. The content is still hidden. And this content is waiting for the evangelist to come and reveal. It is waiting for evangelists to come and reveal. God created the world by his word. And it is this all the earth, all things try to reveal God and Christ, but it is endangered, it is altered by spiritual problem. But all things happening around us, still waiting, the evangelist, true revealer, revealer of your situation, your life, 
to the revealing God's glory, revealing God's salvation, revealing God's power, revealing God's life, life. That is the reason why you are called. And how do you do that? How do you do that? You pronounce by the word, by, by your mouth, by, by the word, you pronounce what? The word of God. You pronounce what is truly true. Not the fact itself, but truth in itself. Dear brothers and sisters, I know you have so many things happening in you. You go to school, you meet people. Some people have endangered future coming, feel like really heartbreaking. Some people do not know what to do. Some people have to work that look like boring or sometimes had to do. Or some people would have happy life, happy moment. Some people would have very glow moment too. But there is something hidden. What you have in either school, relationship, or work, study, or work, whatever, there is, uh, there are, those things are waiting for you to revealing God in that. God is the one who really controls those things. God is the one by that, by that your work, by your the relationship, by your word out, God wants to save. God wants to reveal his glory. That is what the, the world outside, world your life is waiting. So that is the reason why God created the whole, all whole world, whole world by the words of his mouth. And the word Jesus Christ came into the field and your heart and indwelled with you, in you, and work with you. And this word, by your repronouncing, by your just announcing, it reveals all of God's glory again, God's work again in the field. So content, true content is hidden. If there is a problem in the field, as you know, that's just like just a business forum we had uh, uh, recent several weeks. There are so many problems, even in the, the great and the wonderful companies in this earth, in, in the world. They have problems. They do not know what to do. They do not know what to solve, how to solve. There are people waiting. And God is trying to send you to that field. That is the reason why you are called. And God is working with you and try to true revelation, true content. Then how do we do? We have to really carry out the word. We have to embed the word in itself. And we pronounce the word just like God, the living God, had pronounced and created the word. Just like Jesus Christ after his resurrection, and he actually exhaled by the word and gave us life. We have to pronounce the word of God. Then it becomes the content in itself. Bless you. That it becomes content itself. It becomes God's power itself. There are so many things I have to tell, but I just, just I have to just wrap up because I spent too much on just content. There are, the world also have method, what, how to do, what to do. The word itself is Christ, the Holy Spirit. Whenever you think about the word, when you just just re-confess with your word in your prayer. Lord, you are the Christ. Or Lord, just like the today's word, I mean, the enjoying, I mean, rejoice in God, you rejoice Jehovah, 
resist the Lord is your strength. By just repronouncing the word, you are filled, your life it regains your, uh, the power from God and life from God. That is the, how the word of God really works within you. That is methodology. Just word is method. The word is, word tells you what to do and how to do. And lastly, the word has end goal. This word has already end goal. We call that this, we call this as absolute covenant or absolute answer or absolute power, right? The word already created the word and all creation is waiting for the revealing God under suppression of the, pro- the problem, spiritual problem, under suppression of the curse, under suppression of people's manipulation. The creation is waiting for you are revealing God. You are revealing salvation. So it has end goal. There is absolute answer is waiting. That is end goal. You have the, the word of end goal. We call that that is eschatology. We call it as, as the, the last times. We already have last times. We already foresee the last times. And this word already came into us. Today, people uh, of Jerusalem, they really received the word from ne- Nehemiah. But if that is just in the, the book of law of Moses. Through the word, they just, I mean, the Nehemiah just repronounced the word and the field of Jerusalem changed it. Just like them, we are called to pronounce, announce the word and revive our life too because you already received power and authority and life from God from Jesus Christ. You have content of the word. You have a method of the word. And you have end goal already, absolute covenant with the word too. That is just word. And how do we do? We just enjoy and we just confess the word. We just try to apply the word. That is all we do. And then the absolute Word is revealing its glory, His glory. I, 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 I automatically, I, I try to say that, that it's glory, but no, it's not. The, his glory in the, in the Word, through your words. I believe that you really can enjoy this Word. I mean, even once, then your life changed from that time. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your grace. And you are working with us. You created us and you recreated us by the word. And we accept your word and we try to try to enjoy your word. And we open our hearts again. And we wanted to desire to confess your word, repronounce your word again. So Lord, please be with us. And Lord, Reveal your glory. Reveal your power through the word. Lord, please cross all the force of darkness and let your word give us true life, true power, and true revealing image of God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit upon all the people's heart and mind, who really enjoy the word and pronounce the word of God so that the glory of God, the power of God, the life of God be revealed in their field from now and forever. Amen. <laughs>